All right, I'm back at the tiny house, and today I'm gonna be upgrading from this little 125 gallon tank that I used last summer. I've just got it plumbed into the house um, just with a hose. Uh, I just I only use this in the summertime. So I'm gonna get it all set up, get this removed, and I'm gonna switch over to two IBC tanks. Um, those are gonna be back behind the house. Um, make a little platform here. All right, so just inside the house, I wanted to kind of show how the system worked. So I've got two 20 gallon tanks that are inside underneath the bathroom. Um, these are what I use in the winter time. So those come out and then they run to that ball valve there. Um, that is off right now because I'm switching over to the summer tank, which is outside. And that hose we saw outside comes in through the floor here and then just in through a normal um, like hose bib. And then that'll go in through the pre-filter into the pump and then through to the rest of the system. So that's kind of how it works. Now this hose, instead of going to the 125 gallon tank, we're gonna go to the IBC tanks. All right, I'm inside. Um, it's raining out and I'm filling one of the tanks with water. Um, I'm gonna do the little plumbing section of it. Um, so I've got this uh, two inch PVC, goes from the threaded that's on the um, IVC tank. I'm hoping it's the same thread. I think it's just standard thread. This was the cap that came on it. Um, and this is what I'll put on it. And then I've got an adapter to go to three quarter inch. And then I'll thread on a quarter turn hose. Um, on one of them, I'll have that splitter on the end of it. So that's kind of the finished piece right there and that'll go on. So I've got some glue and some Teflon tape. I'm gonna put this together and then we'll put it on the tank. For the garden hose thread, um, it's got this little o-ring in there, um, so you don't actually need to put any Teflon tape on that. It'll be sealed up once it's on there. So this is that finished piece for the first tank. So I'll go put this on and then I can also build this other one. Also I forgot one last piece. Um, on the end of this. I only have one right now. This is the one I was using uh, before for the 125 gallon tank, but this is just a female to female garden hose adapter. So that'll go on one side there. And the reason for that is it'll make more sense when I show you, but we've got the male end of the, the hose coming out of the house. So we need a female end for that to go into. And these are the same garden hose thread you got the o-ring in there, so you don't need any Teflon tape. Um, I think for now, I don't have another hose, so I'm going to take this piece off and just use one tank until I can get another hose and another female to female to run into this end. All right, so I'm here at the IBC tank, and I'm going to put this thread on here. Get some Teflon tape. Tape kind of got destroyed a little bit. That's the finished product. So I'll open this. Oh, 
And we've got water. Next step is you can put on that female to female. And this part still spins. I can grab the hose that goes into the house. And then I should have water going to the house. All right, so these are the two IBC tanks. This is where they're gonna live. Um, just to kind of show how it all works. It is kind of redundant to have two valves, but quarter turns way easier to turn than this big one. Um, so this is kind of how it'll be set up. If you can imagine another one of these female to female on this side, and then that'll go over to the other tank. Which is coming off down at the side here. So if you think of a garden hose, you have a male and a female end. So you'll put the female end onto there, open this tank up, and that'll have the male end on the other side that'll hook to that female to female adapter. Um, so I just need to get, I don't know, probably 10 foot hose to get over to that other side. And then I'll be able to use the second tank. I also wanted to add, you can see this long hose coming in. Um, that's how I was filling it. Um, I've got a creek just running right behind those trees. Um, and I'm just pumping the water up from the creek. A um, couple reasons I'm not doing rainwater catchment. One, the creek's right there and it's easy to get as much water as I need all summer. Um, the second reason is you see this core 10 corrugated metal on the side. I have the same on the roof, and I don't want to catch rainwater on rusty metal to fill my tanks with. Um, so I just pump from the creek, and then throw a couple capfuls of bleach in each tank, um, and that keeps the water from going bad. Um, this water is not used for drinking. Uh, it just goes in for shower and um, washing machine and stuff. So that's all this water is used for. So I purchased both of these tanks. They were $75 each. I mean, you can kind of see what was in it. It was glycol from, um, that they use at the airport for de-icing the planes. Um, so I was able to clean all that out and then probably used, I don't know, maybe $20 worth of plumbing parts to get it. Um, so for under a hundred bucks, uh, these are a thousand liter tanks. Um, so 2000 liters of storage for couple hundred bucks plumbed into the house. Um, pretty cheap way to do it.